In this first video, I'm going to have a look at how adjusting the vibrancy affects our image. So I've opened my image up and I'm in Pixlr and I've opened the editor. On the top, I've got varying tabs. I've got file, edit, image, layer, and adjustments, and so on. I'm gonna to go to adjustment, and I'm just going to scroll down until I get to color, vibrance, and then I'm going to click on it to open. This pulls up a little um, pop-up box, and I have a dial in the center which I can adjust. If I pull the setting all the way to the left and release, we can see the preview updates and the preview changes to quite a desaturated image. If I pull it to the right and release, we can see that the photo starts to become a little bit less realistic and instead becomes very hyper colorful with all the colors heightened uh, to almost ridiculous levels. For this image, normally if we had a very high color vibrance, it would be bad because it would make our images look unrealistic. However, for the conversion to black and white, this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna dial this down slightly to 75. Okay, I can't see too much of a difference in that. And I'm gonna hit okay. For the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to adjustment again and scroll down to this one that says hue and saturation. Click on this, pulls up a variety of different dials that I can look at. Hue adjusts the color settings of the image, inverting some of the colors that you have to different color tones. So this I do not want to manipulate, so I'm gonna put it back to zero, which is in the center. Lightness on the bottom, as we can see, the further it goes to the right, the more white the image becomes, whereas the more I scroll it to the left, the darker the image becomes. And again, I'm gonna hit this back to zero. The middle, this is the one I'm looking for. As I pull it to the left, the image becomes very desaturated, black and white. And as I pull it to the right, it enhances even more that vibrancy that we've put in the image. Now our image is starting to look very unrealistic. I'm going to dial this back just a little bit to around about 40. And I'm going to hit OK. For the next setting, I'm going to go back to adjust and I'm going to go down to levels. Now. When you open levels, it comes with a pop-up and you can adjust these three settings here. The one on the furthest left adjusts the dark tones of the image. Middle is middle tones, gray tones, and left is any light tones or whites. I can also click on this drop-down box and I can alter colors by themselves. So red will just alter any reds in the image. So if I drag all the dials to the left, it will instead shift to the green and the other way enhances the red. I'm just gonna to go to the RBG setting and I'm going to dip the darkness down just a little bit to add a bit more contrast and a bit more blacks in the image. Bring the midtones up slightly and hit okay. The final setting that I want to adjust here is I'm gonna to go to adjustment and I'm going to hit desaturate. Once I've hit this, then it will turn our image black and white and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so I've desaturated the image and it's looking more realistic now. So we've lost all of that fairy tale, happy, very, very bright colors, very unrealistic that we had before. And instead now with our black and white image, it's re returned to a realistic, realistic looking image. However, through all the adjustments that we have made, the darks and the lights are very highly contrasted against each other and we've got a better image. This is gonna conclude the tutorial for shifting an image into black and white and how adjusting vibrancy, saturation, and levels can produce a better image. Now, go and try it yourself.